shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Walk Say, on. man, look, man, I, man, we got exclusive right here, man. Mm -hmm. These niggas in trouble, man. Hey, man, I done pulled up on the block, man, and nigga really feeling himself right now. I got quick trip in there, man. What going Say, on? Say, man, what's going on with you, man? Life, life, man. Say, man, you, hey, man, you got a catalog, brother, man. You've been, you've been working a long time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so what, what drives quick trip, man? What keeps life. him going? Life, like the music come from my real life story. Okay, so this ain't no, it, it, yeah, this, 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 this. I ain't here. rapping my brother life, my uncle life, my nephew life, my cousin life. Yeah, yeah. That's what I go through. Immediate family. Because mm. it affects you, it affects your heart. Yeah. So you can put all that passion behind your music. Yeah. yeah. You got to be able to, you got to be able to speak it when you ain't got nobody there. You could, you can basically tell who really did it. Have you always been like that when you were younger, just starting out? Was that what you always would rap about? Or over the years, as you get older, your style changes? No, it's what I go through. Yeah. Whatever I go through, I put it in my music. I don't yeah. hide nothing from my fans. If I was broke today and I made a song, I'm going to rap about me being broke today. If I had a lot of money tomorrow, I'm going to rap about me getting a lot of money tomorrow. But I'm going to tell you about yesterday, too, what it did. See, a lot of people don't do that. I ain't going to hide nothing. So if you're my fan, you my family. Okay. Man. How old were you when you first started? I used to freestyle a long time ago, like when I was eight, nine. We used to freestyle. Me and Freshman, we used to walk around with pieces of paper, writing down little hooks. But then I started taking it serious when I started uh, going, going with Fresh and Gucci on the road. Then I went to um, I went to Houston, 2012, with, with Future and shit. Um, I seen some different things. I'm like, I got a story. I'm going back home and from. 2012, all star in Houston, like February the 19th, we flew back home. I made my first song February the 20th, my own song. Yeah. Like from, I came home that I came home that Sunday, and I made my first song that Monday. Wow. My own song, like from before that, that you had been with Fresh Bankroll and all of them, huh? Fresh, my brother. So okay. We, that's life. That's a life. <laughs> that's life. It's just like. I didn't never take it serious. Okay. I was always in the street. I never took it serious because I was like. All right, but then I went to Houston with Future and seen them chicks getting picked up on back ends. I was like, I need in. So the money changed everything. It made me take it serious. Mm. It and like, even then, people would always tell you you were good, but you just didn't care? No, nah, they, they don't give me my credit like I supposed to get. Oh, so nobody really told you that? The fans. The if fans. you're out of town, then that would be the in towners. Wow. Mm. That's why I gravitate to the out, out of town. In town, I think that is everywhere, and everybody. Because we always talk about it. Because even like being a performer, is like you book more shows out of town than you do, and it's not just you. It's everybody. It just happens that yeah, way. It's a lot of bodies. I can promise you that. You know, but Jesus says the prophet does not honor in his own country. So I think a lot of time when you're in your own city, your own, own town, sometimes they, they show you a little love, but yeah, but they just gonna look at you for what they knew you for before. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That part. they're not gonna look at where you're trying to go until you go. Then they, they criticize you for going where you're trying to go and <laughs> mad because you don't come back for free. Mm -hmm. You are absolutely 100% correct. What part of uh, Atlanta are you from? I'm from, I'm from Pittsburgh, Zone okay. 3. Zone 3. Forward to County, the heart of the city. So what they do on the outskirts, we moving 10 times faster in the city, so I got to keep up the pace with them. Whoa. I can't do what you're doing in your size counties. I got I move in the city, the f right? Fulton County, like mm -hmm. it's ten times fast. Everybody trying to hustle. Everybody trying mm -hmm. to get some money. Everybody trying to scam. Everybody doing what they doing. So you got to be on. You got to be on point with all that. Yeah. When when you when you you got songs like I ain't gonna lie. You got you got some work out there, man. Uh, you and Bankroll. You and you and Bankroll. Y'all got y'all got music together. A lot so, of music. So so like 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 you you. Why do you? And you know, you've seen it when somebody passed, a lot of time people show them more love than when they were here. Yeah. You know, um, we had Mo3 that passed in, 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 in the D like that. And everybody, you know, and I, if people come on my platform and I tell them, I say, man, why you didn't give them the roses when they were here? A lot of time people, they wait to see, like you said earlier, you know, yeah. they know already you, they, they, they know what it is. That's like, Show your first show and then post your funeral. I bet your funeral gonna be packed in your first show. Wow. 
That's real. Mm -hmm. Because it just, it's, it's just the way people move for some reason, man. It, you, what, what, you, do you, what is that? That's just life. Like, that's what they rather see. They rather see that. They rather see you lose and win anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of naysayers. The people that can't do things, they're going to always place their problems on you like, oh, he can't do it, he can't do it. But then when you do it, it's like, oh, you sold out, you did that. I'm trying to keep it real. It's think like, what I go through is what you're going to hear. Like, a lie, you got to keep that same lie for 30 years. But the truth, you can be, everybody can tell the truth. If you, if you tell the truth, like, if I tell you a story and I say such and such said, and you get them on the podcast, they're going to be able to say it the same way I said it, because I'm going to give it to you raw, like, that way. I ain't going to try to throw a two on a ten. I ain't going to do that. I'm going to tell you the truth, and, and that's how I win. Like, I can go back and say, whatever I tell you today, I, we can come back ten years, and I can say the same thing ten mm -hmm. years from now, because it's the truth. How does all of those negative Nancys affect your career, affect your... Um, it don't. It don't? It don't. Because some people let it get to them. Especially yeah. where we have social media yeah. today, where a lot of cyberbullying, people saying things that hurt, you know what I mean? They're going to say that. Get what? They got to go home and deal with that. Yeah. They got to go home and look, look at them fucked up apartment walls. They live in <laughs> You they, say it. They got to go deal <laughs> with say, that. Life. He, he say life a lot. You know, like I things happen that. Things happen to you. You've been through a lot of street stuff, so. Because I say life because it's, it's just how it go like. Say for instance. We doing something, and it take a toll. But we done seen our peers take that same toll. So you know, I look at the dictionary of life. I'm like, it can happen. I learned from other people's mistake. If I seen you burn your hand touching that computer, I ain't got to touch that computer to know it's hot. Some I people seen do. you did it, but you got people that are still gonna mm -hmm. say, "How hot is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How hot? I don't want to do that." <laughs> wow. You sound. I mean, I learned from other people's experiences. Yeah. I ain't, I, I ain't got no feelings. I ain't, and I'm in the street for real. I ain't got none. Man. Yeah. You so, ain't gonna pin your case on me. <laughs> <laughs> no. So what was the, the, the first thing that, that, that stuck out to you as far as the, the first song that you really knew, like I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. The numbers went up. Or, nah, or just the impact was, I'm gonna tell you, the impact was right. I got a song, right? Mm -hmm. It's called We Ball, Man Fresh. Okay. We took it in the club, I wanna say for like three weeks. Did one song, got us a mean with every label, but they all said the same thing, so I never put the song back out until like I get big. The verse is so up the part that I, fresh music, like it don't age, yeah, but it I was beginning, so I changed my verse on it right now and put it out and it'll be big. But they was at, they, this is what they told us, they told us, do you want to put this song out now? Cause you're gonna have to chase a hit behind that song. Mm -hmm. This going to be so big, we can sign y'all for this song and take it worldwide. But what you going to do if you can't top this song again? Mm -hmm. So my mentality was like, I ain't trying to jump the hurdle when I'm just starting. Like, you know, you can jump right in, but you don't last right long. Mm -hmm. I want to take my accolades and my $500 shows. I done did, though, the going to the club for liquor, bottles, and I don't even drink. So I tell promoters, what you going to spend on that bottle? You paid $40 for that bottle outside the club. You want to give me two bottles and tell me this is $1,000 when you paid $40 for that bottle. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, keep it player. Give me $1,000 to come to your club. And I'm, and I, and I'm so player, I'm going to spend 1000 back in your club. Mm -hmm. I don't drink, but I'm going to bring a couple people with me, a couple females or something that got to drink or want to drink. I'm going to buy it, but I ain't going to come do a party in your club for bottles of liquor and I don't drink. Really? I'm going to most likely have my cup with me. Mm -hmm. That costs more than your bottle. I'm going to have <laughs> mine, but I got to entertain the people that are with me. So I come back and spend the money, but I don't move for liquor. You ain't going to wake me up for liquor. I can't pay my bun with liquor. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't put gas in my car with liquor. I can't go outside the club and sell the bottle money. So oh, I'm saying, really? give me something that ain't going to make me come. Why you can't work today? Shoot. You came for the money. Yes, sir. Okay, so why you want me to come for free? Real talk. No, I get it. I get it, and I and I agree with it. I'm saying, I mean, if I, you do something for me for free, I do something for you for free. That's the way it goes. Exactly and we gonna build them type of relationships. Mm -hmm. Like we gonna we gonna work our relationships. No money. I'm with that. Yeah, you know, usually the way it started is kind of how it rolls. 
You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Like a person, and, and, and the person character gonna show his flaws right up front if you pay attention. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So you can, if you, you know, that's why. If he, he ain't real, he can't be real. That's right. Real, recognize real, it kicks in at, yeah. at some point. You they know? can only say real things, they can't do real things. Yeah, yeah. So when you. Um, so I, tell me I'm about the um, project she that you're go. working on right now. The one I'm working on now? I just recently lost my mama, but. Oh, I'm sorry. Man. I had been doing music. In, in transition of her getting clean back in 2018. So I was converting that music over to rapping about her being clean. And I found a couple songs that I was really rapping about, like her, that, and it was the way she passed, and it just scared me. So I was just like, I'm gonna name my next tape Mama's Boy, because, like, if anybody know me, like, my mama yeah, is my mama's heart. Boy. Mm -hmm. I don't care, like, growing up, if I got adopted. I probably go to school five days in the new school, but on the weekend, I'm telling whoever I'm adopted to, like, I'm going back to be with my mama. Mm -hmm. If she can't come, I'm going to run away. I'm telling you I'm going to run away. How old was she? My mama? Mm -hmm. She would have been 61 June 20th when she died, she February 17th. Young. She was 60. Wow. Yeah, I lost my mom at like 40-something, so I get it. But and it, you can't never replace that, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, 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 but you know why I'm happy? Because I'm 32 and I spent every day of my life with my mom. Like, That's dope. You have those memories. From the day she was doing drugs to the day she got clean, like, I got all the memories. So I ain't afraid to, of life. Yeah, Do you yeah, have yeah. kids? I, yeah, you yeah, said I got you one had... of my son, I said, okay. 16. So he got opportunity to also spend time with her as well. Yeah, and he just, my baby mama just lost her mama. Wow. Um, life. Oh, uh, like a week ago. Um, 721, my mama died 217. Her mama died 721. Mm. Wow. So it was like, he with me right now, so I just, I just got him with me as being a dad on. Um, he gonna grieve, he grieved different, he's strong, I ain't gonna lie, he ain't, wow. he, ain't, he cried when his mama, mama passed, cause he lived with her basically a lot, but he, he stood strong for me, so I had to just tell my baby mama, like, let him stay with me, like, I gotta be there for him, like, he need that. And I, 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 I respect my son. He don't smoke, he don't drink, he don't do none of that. Like, he That's ain't good. no sneaky little 16 year old. Freaky, but he ain't sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> he freaky, but he ain't sneaky. See, I always, believe, sneaky, right? I always believe that sons need to have their dads in their life to show them yeah, how to be I a got, man. I got to do it. I can't, you know, I'm going to say this. I can't say my dad wasn't around. See, I was just about to ask you about him. Anytime I did call my dad or his brother at, um, my dad, he'll send something through. If him mm -hmm. and my mama didn't get along, he ain't never just be like, oh, he'll be like, I'm 15 minutes away. Stay by that pay phone right there. If my mama was right there and he was finna give me some money, he'll pull past <laughs> and give me a look, like meet me down the street. But then uh -huh. one day I just asked him when I got older, like, why y'all don't talk? And I made them talk for the first time. I put the picture on Instagram, like, I made them talk for the first time and like, 20 years and he wow. was like this is my first time talking to your mama but he was just telling me things that she wouldn't tell me being st my mom was stubborn mm -hmm. <laughs> stubborn oh no nah, don't go her way fuck you let me ask you do you that. get that from her go ahead me and my mama started talking for like three months <laughs> she don't care. yeah yeah See, i know That's some of the traits gotta go come down yeah. I'm, I'm your mama. You can't tell me what to do. Children's are made to be seen. I heard. That's my favorite line. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me ask you this. So when you um, when going back to uh, Bankroll Fresh, when when you and him were working together, because y'all was working together a lot. Once he passed, how did that how did that kind of deal dealing with your career? How did that push things one way or the other? I want to stop. You, I figured that. I want to stop, but then you know, like like I say, Fresh, my brother. So therefore. His mom is my mama, my mama is his mama. So therefore, it's a real life thing, not just an industry thing. Mm -hmm. like we've been together since we were like three, four. Yeah. So you gotta think this these real years of our life, like teen, kids, like real babies. So when I got the call, I was leaving Future Show. Okay. Purple Rain tour in Atlanta at three, four. And then I was like, I got the call, he got grades. Yeah. So I walked back in the club. Then I got another call, but the person who called me, uh, when he called, it's like, he go to sleep at 8 o'clock. If he called you at 11 o'clock, something wrong. Yeah, yeah, you knew that. If he called you at 11 o'clock, something wrong. But we was in honest with my, with my buddies and getting drunk 
like 11, because we was going to go to Privé. We had a session in Privé that night for a future party, the after party. And I couldn't make it. And I was just like, damn. But then when I got there, it didn't hit me because, man, Fresh, we wasn't seeing eye to eye. That's why I made the song, Eye to Eye. Mm -hmm. Our pride got in the way. Yeah. He was around people I didn't want to deal with. I was around people that he felt like should be around him. But they, I was just telling him, like, we both working on two different things. Yeah. You working right here. You got 2 chain helping you. I got Future helping me. We together still. Mm -hmm. I still, Street Money is your company. I don't have nothing in on it, but you my brother. I'm going to rip it to the end. So when you see me in a future video and I got on the Street Money shirt, I'm branding us. Wow. When you see Lil Wayne in that Double XL magazine a long time ago, when I'm standing behind him, I got on the Street Money hoodie. I'm branding us. Look at it like that. Don't look at it as like we not together. We working on two different platforms, but we working for the same thing. Yeah. You doing you, I'm doing me. We doing us. Mm -hmm. so look at it that way. Don't look at it like we not equal. And you, yeah. got, to, and you got to share that with him. Yeah. We, we, Somewhat. We, we on that type of time. Like his son, I kept graduations. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't miss like two birthdays of just me being me. Stubborn, but his son know I love him, and if he call me right now, I'm, I'll probably cut the prop cash out to go mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do what I gotta do with him. If he need Uncle Quick Trip when he when he DM me or whatever, we do that. His son old enough to understand. Me and his mama talk everything. A one, it ain't no it ain't no flaw in that. That's big bro. I don't have nothing negative to say about him. That's big bro. Whatever we went through, it was like brothers. Yeah. You know, your brother, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, your sister, uh, yeah, well, a lot, it, a lot, real? not really, yeah. Don't talk like y'all, you know. It's something that happened in family. Like my brother and me, he texted me this morning, "Happy birthday." That's it. We ain't talked in six. Boy, hey, your birthday? About three, yeah. yeah, about three months, maybe. Happy birthday. Yeah, thanks, man. Been three months, maybe four months. My sister, two years. Like this, something that families go through. We don't talk about it, but it's certain times when you might be on this, and they may not be on that. And you get older, you get grown. You know, you got kids of your own. You can outgrow people. Yeah, you can outgrow family. You <laughs> so, and it's and it's a hard thing to say because you grew up in the same house together. Mm -hmm. And, and like, you want to see everybody win. You want to see everybody on the same level. You don't want to leave nobody behind, especially your brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? Definitely. But if they ain't trying to work with you to go to the next level, then you gotta leave. That's that because they're gonna right be there. trying to pull you back down. You gotta get to that next level of life. I don't care what you say. Listen, I look at it like Miss Pat, man. If you can have the same carrots as every boy, mm -hmm. <laughs> why you can't take them all with you? You know some die, yeah. you beat the board, some come. Wow. New people gonna come in your life, like you could say day one, day one, day one, day one. And a day two can come in and change your whole life. Mm -hmm. They can see things different than your day one, cause your day one just see things the way they see it. Yeah, yeah. Outsiders gonna see it from their standpoint, your standpoint, and the next level. And, Sometimes you can block your blessings thinking day ones are the right one. Yeah. It's cool to go out, come in and go out the same way with the same people, but what if the whole people don't see themselves going to the next level with you? What you yeah. gonna do? Hold, that's like me taking a pack of dirty clothes on the tour. No, <laughs> no, 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 real talk. Where you did know. the name Quick Trick come from? <laughs> don't get me in dark. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know. <laughs> nah, guess what? This is this the true story. I got a friend here in jail named Sweet D, and I got another one just got named Natron. They used to call me QT with a QP, playing like off weed. So, but I ain't sell weed back then. But then, as I got older, I used to always say QT. And folks be like, man, quick trip. So then, my friend Samaya, she like a sister to me, and she was like, I made an Instagram, she like, Bumpin' just call you Quick Trip. And I was like, <laughs> all right. So my first Instagram was Quick Trip 0829. I lost the password, like my birthday at the end. It, I started Quick Trip myself. And I'd be outside, everybody be saying Quick Trip, Quick Trip, Quick Trip. And I'm just like, like when I be feeling that online for, for uh, hotels and I be doing my, shit, my traveling, I might be on Delta if I put Quick Trip with it. It was like, your name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I don't stuff. think it's my real name for real. I'm like, man, God 
<laughs> See, I'm trying to get used to that because everybody's like, you know, they come to you and introduce themselves. And I'm still trying to say my real name because I'm used to that. But Instead you, of saying Miss Jamaica, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm practicing to say Miss Jamaica all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, kind, it's yeah. something about the name, too. It's importance in that name, man. Mm-hmm. You know, so top three artists of all times, man, dead or alive. Any genre? My top three. Top mm-hmm. three. We Any do it genre. every every every, Male every or episode, female. right? Mm-hmm. Top three. Did a lot. Any genre, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Number one. Tupac. Okay. Wow. Number Mace. two. Mace. Number three. I gotta say, Young Jeezy. Wow. Uh, Tupac, Mace, Young Jeezy, man. That's great. They're my three influences. Okay. Like, okay. I like the Mace for his style. Okay. Yeah. I like the Tupac for his lyrics, mm-hmm. and I can relate to Jeezy. Wow, wow! I can relate. But you, you put me. You said my top three. That's yeah. the top three. It could change, you know. My that, top five future. So, so being in being in the business for as long as you have, I know you've had a lot of ups and downs, and you overcame some a obstacles. Lot. What is the biggest obstacle that you had to overcome, and how did you overcome it? I didn't overcome it yet. Okay, what is your biggest obstacle? Losing my mom. Wow. I get it. I've been there. I ain't overcome it. It's still to like, you know, like, me and my mom, we had a friendship. So if I be with a girl, she don't like to say she old, so she be like, they're my little brother. And the girl would think I'd be playing like I tell her <laughs> to say that. And she'll be going along with it for so long and be like, nah, I don't hear mom. But you'll think I tell her mom, say you my, my sister. No, she just play like that. Like, wow. man, I play with her. I call my mama titties. So at the front room, when we was closing the casket, the man was like, you want to help me close the casket? I'm like, I want to do everything that need to be attended to her today. Yes, sir. She need to know from zero to 32, I did everything, everything. with you. That's it. I'm going to touch your... So we was closing the casket and he was screwing the thing. I ain't know that. I, at the front row, I never paid attention to how they let they let you down. They, it, the thing. It's a lot go to everything so, you do. as we took her in, I touched her titty. This nigga said, <laughs> Ready to say, you a sick motherfucker. <laughs> I say, why? He said, you just touch your mama titty. I say, listen, I wouldn't be me if I didn't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a relationship I y'all say, had. we play like that. Yes, sir. Me and her, like, I can call my mama at four or five o'clock in the morning and, and play with her, and she'd be like, what you want to do, motherfucker? I'd be like, uh, what you doing, Titty? And she'll just, but well, you play too much. My mama buy her money, though, like. If Man. You, Were you the baby? I would don't fall for the tree. How many brothers and sisters? My dad got. Well, for your mom? Me and my sister. It wouldn't have been no me and my other brother would have survived. Mm. Yeah. She said she was through. She had a boy and a girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. How yeah. are your sister handling it? My sister, she ain't even taking it too well. Because she, like, her and my mom and they had the best relationship. You know, women's going to... Women, yeah, once you get to that age, women going to get that. Hit. Yeah, y'all going to bump it. But, you know, my sister, like, she a team player. My sister been in and out of jail, like... I ain't afraid of that. I don't hold it down every bitch I ever had. But, you know, like, she don't feel like they were just getting that connection of daughter and mama the real way. And mom passed. My mama got actually got clean the day my sister got jail last night, March the, um, 5th, 2018. Mm-hmm. That was the day she got clean. So she was clean for three years. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's just, it, it, the thing I look at with what we're talking those about. Memories. Yeah, like, he's had a lot of different people that, that you know, <sighs> Swallow, died. Money, yeah. bang. Like, all these people, man, that's effective, man. So, and I asked Mr. Lee this when I was in the one out of uh, from Rapala. I was like, how do you deal with going in processing the music after somebody's gone? Like, you was talking about that song you got with Bankroll, right? Like, to, to go in and now listen to the stuff that they done. How does that affect you? Like, to hear their music and their voices. Guess what, though? I ain't gonna even cap it Yeah. Like, I don't play fresh you, music. You won't even listen to I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I don't play it when I'm with people. Okay. I gotta be by my, I gotta be by myself to, to play it. That's what I'm. I, that's the part it, right there. I ain't gonna lie. I get emotional. I, it's, I certain, it's certain songs that send me to certain people like that Drake. When you hear me playing Drake and Future Use of This, I'm thinking about my buddy Lil Money. Wow. That song came out when the day he died, and it's like when you hear me playing that. Wiz Khalifa, 
I'm thinking about my auntie Ann Fresh. Like, me, I did music, and I also, Wallow used to be with me every day in the studio, man. Wallow used to be in the studio every day. So when I lost Wallow, it was like, why me? Yeah, yeah. Music you know, is your roller coaster ride. You know, like, you get that type of talk from family, oh, uh, he dead because of you. Mm. That hurted me more. Mm -hmm. But knowing, like, I didn't kill nobody. I wasn't the one that pulled no trigger. Yeah. These guys are mad at words. Yeah. Like, people like to throw stuff out that they can't dish in. And then when you said, you know, like, I don't gang bang, so I ain't no gang, I ain't in that. So, I, you know, certain folks do things for clout. Some folks do things for rank. I don't understand them. Like, me, I grew up on an old fist fight. Yeah, yeah. I, I carry a gun because... I gotta protect myself. I know these these guys can't get knocked out in front of these girls and still be the same guy. Yeah, yeah. I can wear a ass whip and then go back outside with a black eye because I'm gonna laugh it off. Yeah, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna. Laugh. I, I know how to laugh it off. Most folks can't do that. They don't. They don't. They can't take it. They can't take a ass whip no more. Yeah, I was reading. Did you did you get shot or no? Nah, never. 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 Yeah, so people be That's putting kept. stuff out there. That's kept. So they, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't go by this internet because it'll tell you he he ain't here no more. Wood. And and you know before what's name died, uh, it was uh, Biz Marquis. He died before he died. Mm. Yeah, you go back like, and look. Like you see, you like you, yeah, you see, you like, damn, he dead. They're gonna, all, they gonna always say something. So crazy. it's always right. the internet. That's why I asked that because I know when you see it, it'd be like, is this really real? I know we always do we that. We always I see something say that. I'll be like, but one thing I want to tell mean. you: hold on to those memories and be very transparent with your fans and stuff like that because. Your life is not your own. You're going through a certain time, but by you being transparent and telling people how you're overcoming it, how you're dealing with it, they're your support system, but you could help someone who is even being silent, who is not actually typing. I get those type something. of DMs. Yeah. yeah. I get those type of DMs like, people be like, how you post this and say that and do this and that? And I be like, I ain't afraid of what you're gonna I ain't afraid of what you're gonna write on my page. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't afraid, because it's me. I don't care what you say about me. You'll catch me on my sh shirt off, dancing, playing. I like to have fun. <laughs> fun. I make myself happy like me. Like me lately, like the last three weeks. I've been sitting in my house all day. I ain't been driving nowhere, going nowhere, like, unless I go out at night or I ain't been in the studio because my tape done and I know when I put this tape out, I want that energy to be able to go do whatever. Mm -hmm. That's why when Shout, Shout called me like 2.30 in the morning. Hey, okay. I need you to interview. I'm like, you better call and remind me. <laughs> be on that sir, you better call. He called me at two and he like, man, you here early. I say, shout. If I didn't come now, I promise I wasn't gonna make it at three thirty. Wow. So I just we just sat outside and talked for an hour, yeah. thirty minutes or whatever, and came in here for fifteen, twenty. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I wasn't gonna make it. I know it. I'm I, just I glad get you side, did. I man. get sidetracked so fast, like. It just mean, but I be trying to make everybody happy. That's good that you know you, because that's a lot of people's failure. They always make excuses and don't really know who they are. That's my win. I accept my losses. I, that's I, good. I, I, wow. I take, I take, make you I, strong. I take yeah. matters into my own. I, I I know how to accept what I did, my leadership role, or anything in life, or, and, and accept my chances of failure, or success. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna myself accountable on a lot of things. Like if I go somewhere and something happen. But I be done told myself it happened, then you know what I get back in the car and say, I just said this was going to happen. Well, I be seeing things for it happen, and, and I know how to do it. I might be, we might be at a park, a bunch of girls out. Yeah, we like to be around it. Then I might just see something going different. I might tell my friend, let's go. I'm like, bro, it's a bunch of bitches. I'm like, listen, let's You're an observative person. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. That's what keep me safe. But what yeah. do you, I, I but do, hold on. I, um, but being, knowing your shortcomings, are you trying to improve on those? Always. You always want to be a better you. Definitely. Because some people just accept it and like, that's just how I am. You're going to have to accept nah. me for who I am. That nah, type of you got to always nah. try to be better, right? Nah. You strive to be a better man. Like, nah, that's why them folks be in jail with no way out. <laughs> that's accept me true. for who I am. <laughs> so let me yeah, ask you, yeah. man. So, so how can people get a hold of you if somebody's trying to fan out? You yeah, know, look like, in the camera and tell them how man. to reach you. How do they, how do they reach you? Um, quick trip on Instagram. Already. You know, quick trip on Instagram. Quick trip on Twitter. Facebook. Are you on TikTok? Do you really be on Twitter? I ain't, I ain't, no, I ain't been on Twitter in a minute, but I, I check ain't it. either, and I got a lot of people I on there. It. I check my Twitter. I ain't been. 
You don't I be can't on Twitter. Twitter is like texting to me. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it. I cannot <laughs> like, do it. I have it at all. You know, you know, you you know, just say, you know, text messages get thrown out of proportion. Yeah, they do. That's why a lot of folks be in trouble from their tweets. Yeah. I always believe in verbally speaking, because I know how to improve and say it better. I know how to translate it better with talking than my text. So you like to go live on Instagram? Yeah, then my phone, I don't know why they call my phone no smartphone. My phone, dumb. <laughs> Soon I mess up with us spelling. I got a friend named Bushy. She always text me, say, you just don't care about spelling, do it. I'm like, man, you know what I'm trying to say. She's like, yeah, but I'm the same you way. need to fix yeah, that. Yeah, you do. I you need to fix that all well, the time. I, I still be big on when I get my music mixed and I be on messed up a word. And my engineer be like, go and say this word. I like, leave it like this. Like, why? I'm like, they need to know it's failure in the music, too. Oh, I like really? That. I like that. I kept, I, it's Be failure. real. It's failure in There's no too. such thing as perfection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's failure in that. Like, like, I want you to get the real me. I don't like to be animated. Yeah. When you animated too much, you can't deal with certain things. So then I don't be really worried about that. I'm going to give you me. Already say, man, thank you, man. I, I love, hey, man, we love hard, bro. You family now, you can't Definitely. get away from us, bro. I, when you in Texas, like, you better I, come see me. But, he just but, told me but that I got it. to. But even if, even so, we got people asking us to come back out here, like quarterly or whatever. And I'm gonna be like, I'm like, hit you up, like, hey, man. How long you in town? Man, we leaving we tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> I wish I could stay, man. I told her, I said we might stay if if, if something big enough comes. If come something through, big enough comes, she's through, saying we'll stay. We who, gonna stay. Who 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 would be a nice person to get y'all to stay? Who y'all trying to get to? <laughs> it's up to her. I, I don't know. I say Gucci. I can't get that call. <laughs> I uh, say, no, who else? Jeezy. But well, Jeezy ain't here. Till. I can call Till. Okay. But look, that's a, guess what? That's a mentor to me. Really? That's you a, call him and we can, we, we'll stay and tomorrow. And we know him. That's um, crazy. If he, if he in town, I can call him. Because he was going to I'm going to tell you something. Like, who do you think would be a good this, idea? This, I'm going to tell you something. T, yeah. T, no, I, I, I like T.I., little T.I. T.I. is one of them ones, like, he gonna tell you the truth. Like, that's my, that's one of them real mentors. I can say, if I call Tip and he missed a call, he gonna call back. He I like one of them. Uh, uh, if he got his phone in his hand, he gonna pick up right then. Mm -hmm. Hey, quit you what you need. You need me for something? Uh, uh, well, yeah, uh, I need to holler at you about something, Tip. I'll be at the studio at this time. Come on, who you with? He ain't, oh, come by yourself type. He like, who you with? Oh wow. well, yeah, don't don't bring a thousand folks. You know, ooh, I got my kids here. If he got his kids, they gonna tell you. If he if he by himself, tip really gonna be can you come with two thousand people along with they respectable. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? they respect his recording. We've been, we've been in a He's few rooms together. He's always been a respectable person because nah, I've met him so many real times. Strong ones. He helped me get through a lot of a mm -hmm. lot of that a lot of that tough times. Like I call and talk to him. You know, he lost for lunch. He lost a couple people yeah. on that road, and I know yeah. he probably got yeah, blamed for a couple yeah. things. And I always just ask him how he get through it, and he always gave me real answers. That's, that's, what that's, who, you that's, think, that's who you think would be a good person for us, like a big person. You know who I, show. you know who I deal with. I in, no, I think Rich Homie. Like he got he having a, to he, he having a comeback. He having a comeback, and that's somebody who really support me. Like that's my dog. Corn, you call him. I'm here. If you can get him today, we'll do it tonight. Corn, mm -hmm. corn we'll work probably, late. Corn we'll go to say, twelve, one o'clock. Corn probably, <laughs> not, corn probably tell y'all to come to his house though. He, he wow. that's, that's a house person. We have to put this thing. We'll together. pack it up and take it over there. <laughs> I call him after the interview. Say like. man, check it, man. We are gonna shut him down, right? Yes, sir. Man, it's been another great segment. Hey, man, thank you. For sure. We thank love you, bro. Y'all got folks on him. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all one. How much for an interview? I told you. I ain't did no interview in so long. Wow. They asking how much for an interview? Man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.